dear viewers subject of discussion is auto transformer used in power system today i shall discuss the following what is auto transformer what is conventional ordinary transformer used in power system what are differences between an auto transformer and conventional two winding transformer why auto transformer are used instead of conventional transformer what is tertiary winding why tertiary winding is used in auto transformer working principle of an auto transformer and current distribution what is conventional transformer used in power system we know that transformer is required to transform power of one voltage level to another voltage from one circuit to another circuit through electromagnetic induction conventional two winding transformer consists of two windings called primary winding and secondary winding primary windings are connected with supply source and secondaries are connected with load these two windings are magnetically coupled with each other through a common core but electrically insulated these are generally of four types of combination please watch at left hand side what is auto transformer auto transformer in which a part of winding is common to both primary and secondary in auto transformer two windings are not only magnetically coupled but also electrically connected in fact a part of single continuous winding is common to both primary and secondary the input voltage to the transformer is constant but output can be varied by varying the tapping
what is tertiary winding a three winding transformer consists of three sets of windings primary windings secondary windings and tertiary windings between the two windings of a star star connected transformer a third winding is used which is known as tertiary winding the transformer has large mv rating since three winding are operated at three different voltage levels they may be called as high voltage winding medium or intermediate voltage winding low voltage winding why tertiary winding is needed in two winding transformer in two winding star star connected transformer floating of neutral problem occurs to stabilize the neutral delta connected tertiary winding is used again when line to earth or line to line faults occur on the primary or on the secondary windings the considerable unbalance in phase voltage is compensated by the circulating currents flowing through the closed delta why tertiary winding is used in auto transformer auto transformer is used in high voltage transmission system for stepping down or stepping up the voltage to a suitable value delta connected tertiary winding is used to get additional distribution voltage to feed distribution load and power factor improvement equipment which is economical during earth fault in primary and secondary windings it offers little impedance to flow more earth fault current for operation of protective relay tertiary windings are normally connected in delta so that when line to earth or line to line fault occurs on the primary or on the secondary windings the considerable unbalance in phase voltage occurs which may be compensated by the circulating current flowing through the closed delta during fault overheating of core and windings is limited by circulation of fault current through tertiary winding of the delta connection so reactance of the tertiary winding should be high enough tertiary winding also carries third harmonics component of currents so distortion of voltage wave is eliminated during fault at primary as well as secondary considerable voltage unbalance is occurred as a result floating up neutral problem is happened the problem of floating up neutral is eliminated by using additional closed delta tertiary winding why auto transformer are used instead of conventional two winding transformer look at the picture ab is the single winding which is used as primary and as secondary ab is primary side winding is connected with source of supply voltage v1 
total numbers of turn of the winding is in one bc the part of the same winding acts as secondary winding connected with load through suitable tappings number of turns at the part is n2 and the load voltage is v2 when load carries i2 current then the primary current is i1 which will flow through section ac ac section carries voltage v1 minus v2 current will flow through the section bc is i2 minus i1 This is two winding transformer AV is primary winding having n1 numbers of turns connected with voltage v1 B dash C dust is the secondary winding having numbers of turns n2 supplies voltage v2 and when supply is the load current I dash 2 then primary current will be I dash 1 power delivered to load is equal to v2 into i2 we have v2 by v1 is equal to e b dust c dust by e a v is equal to n2 by n1 is equal to i dust 1 by i dust 2 is equal to k the section of winding that is both primary and secondary circuit carries only the difference of secondary and primary currents i1 and i2 Therefore, an auto transformer requires less copper, which is economo economical and is more efficient than a two winding transformer of similar rating where transformation ratio is high. Continuously varying voltage can also be obtained by using auto transformer. Tertiary winding used in auto transformer carries additional load of distribution voltage. Power transform is equal to power in winding BC is equal to V2 into I2 minus I1. V2 into I2 into 1 minus I1 by I2 is equal to V2 into I2 into 1 minus K since i1 by i2 is equal to k the transformation ratio power in winding ac is equal to esc into i1 is equal to v2 minus v1 into i1 number of turns in ac section is equal to n1 minus n2 carries current i1 weight of copper at ac section varies directly as I1 into N1 minus N2. Number of turns in BC section is equal to N2 carries current I2 minus I1. Weight of copper at BC section varies directly as I2 minus I1 into N2. So, Total weight of copper at auto transformer varies directly as I2 into N2 minus N1 plus I2 minus I1 into N2. Total weight of copper at ordinary transformer varies directly as primary ampere turn plus secondary ampere turns. Total weight of copper at ordinary transformer varies directly as I1 N1 plus I2 N2. So, copper weight on auto transformer by copper weight on ordinary transformer.
is equal to 1 minus k If k is small and it is possible when voltage is transformed from very high voltage to very low voltage that is k is very small then the value of 1 minus k is nearly equal to 1. Operate one auto transformer nearly equal to copper weight on ordinary transformer. So, auto transformer is not economical when voltage is transformed from very high voltage to very low. But auto transformer is economical when value of K is high that is voltage transformed from very high to medium voltage as example 220 kb to 132 kb and here k is equal to 0 0.6 copper required for auto transformer is equal to 40 percent of copper required for ordinary transformer so auto transformer is economical when transformation ratio is Hi. So my dear viewers, how do you feel by watching this video? May be expressed through comment. If you like the video, please subscribe and share. Thank you.